Hey, it's Ben, and in this video, we're gonna go over MailChimp, what it is, how it works, and how you can start sending professional emails and automate some of your marketing in just a few minutes. If you've ever wanted to build a simple email system that runs on autopilot, whether that's for your business, for your brand, or even just a personal project, this video will walk you through exactly how you can get started step by step. Nice. We'll keep it super simple, no jargon, just a clean walkthrough. So by the end of the video, you'll know exactly how to use MailChimp and how to get it set up quickly. All right, let's jump straight into it. Firstly, what is MailChimp? It's not a monkey mailing mails, but it's close enough. MailChimp is an all-in-one email marketing platform that helps you connect with your audience through email, through simple automations and basic marketing tools. Think of it like your digital assistant for emails. You can design emails, send them to your subscribers, or even get them to go out automatically when somebody signs up for something. You don't need to know how to design or code anything. It's just a drag and drop editor Editor, and it's very beginner friendly. It's great for small businesses, freelancers, and really anyone who wants to stay in touch with their audience without spending hours setting things up. So now that you know what MailChimp is, let's take a quick look around the platform. When you first log in, you'll land on the homepage. This is where you'll see a quick checklist to help you get set up. And you can also jump right into creating an email using one of their templates. That'll be in the top right corner. On the left-hand side, you've got your main navigation. Let me walk you through each section quickly. Campaigns is where you create and manage your email sends, whether that's a newsletter, promotions, or announcements. Automation is where you can set up your emails that go out automatically like welcome emails or follow-ups. Then we have SMS. SMS lets you send text messages to your audience if you choose to set that up. Forms is where you can create sign-up forms to collect emails from your website or landing pages. Audience is your contact list. Everyone who subscribes to your emails will show up here and you can organize them with tags or segments. Analytics is where you can track how your emails perform, the open rates, the clicks, and more. Website lets you build simple landing pages or websites, but that's totally optional. Content is your media library. All your images, your logos, and your brand assets live here. Then integrations is where you can connect MailChimp to other tools that you use like Shopify, Stripe, or social media platforms. That's the quick tour. Next, let's talk about a few small things that you need to do before you can start sending emails. This is the pre-setup. Before you send your first email, there are a couple things that you need to do to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Firstly, you'll need to add your contacts. This is your audience. These are the people who will be receiving your emails. You can add them manually one by one or import a full list if you already have one. To do that inside your account, you can come up to this board over here and you'll see the first option is to add your contacts. This is the quick setup checklist. So in the future, if this disappears, then you can also do this down in the audience tab over here. For now, I'm going to click on add your contacts. Then you have a couple different options here. Once you've uploaded your file, your contacts will be put into the system. Next is this one over here. It's a good idea to authenticate your email domain. This might sound technical, but it's just a way to prove to email services like Gmail that you're legit and it helps you avoid the spam folder. This takes just a couple minutes if you already have a domain. To get that started, just come over here and click on authenticate your email domain. It will take you step by step to do this. It's fairly simple. And once it's done, your emails will have a better chance to show up in the right inbox. Once you've done those things, you're ready to create your first email and even start automating your marketing. All right, let's walk through a quick example. We're going to set up a welcome email that sends automatically when somebody joins your list. This is one of the most common automations, and it's a great way to make a good first impression without doing any extra work once it's set up. So inside your account, if you're not doing it for a newsletter and you just want to create an email campaign, then just come to home or come to campaigns. And then in the top right corner, click on create email. It will ask you, how do you want to design your email? Where you can choose from scratch, which is just a blank canvas. Choose the basic layout or fully designed template. Both of these will show you templates where it will take you to the email editor where you can modify it. But I'm going to stick with the newsletter example. So I'm going to click on exit, come back to the top left and then come down to automations. You'll see if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you will see different automation templates. If you click on this button over here, this is where you can view a whole bunch of different pre-built automations. Here's the most common one, the welcoming new content. Context. But if you scroll down, you'll see that there are plenty different automations that have already been pre-built. If you're using MailChimp, these templates will save you a lot of time and they will most likely have your use case already built. So just browse through those. I'm going to scroll back up to the top here and click on welcome new contacts and then it will start generating your email content. Just give it a second and you'll see this email has been generated. If you want to modify this email, then you need to go to the email builder. A shortcut is to come to the bottom left and click on edit email in builder and it will take you right there. Before modifying this email, it's a good time to quickly set these details such as who is this email going to be sent to and who's it from to edit that click on this edit button where you can modify your name add your email and then over here you can set the to field if you scroll down you can adjust the subject line and then once you finish that click on close in the bottom right corner now you'll see at the top here this is the trigger the trigger is the something that has to happen in order for this automation to fire so in our case that something is for somebody to sign up to our newsletter then below that we have the email if you want to customize the email just come over here and click on it and then click this green button saying edit email 
the content. Now you're inside a drag and drop builder where you can modify your email, change the content, add pictures or logos, and add buttons to different places. It's really simple. You just drag and drop from the left hand side. So if you want to add an image, just drag the image icon into the email builder. And then to add an image, you just click on add image. It will just open a window where you can attach the image and it will be loaded into the email. And if I scroll down here, I can change the text by clicking on it. It's as simple as just highlighting what you want to remove, backspace, type what you want. And you can do that for all the different text sections. If you want to remove something, just click on it and then click the little trash icon next to it. You can scroll on the left hand side for the different layouts, add different content blocks over here. And if you want to see more, click on show more. And if you scroll right to the bottom, you'll see a whole bunch of pre-built layouts already. So if you like the design of this, just drag it in and you'll see it will be added. When you click on the section, you'll have more customization options over here. And if you want to preview it in the mobile view, then just come up here and click on this phone icon. This will show you what the people will see on their phone. And again, if you want to toggle between the laptop, just click on the laptop view. Then when you're ready to save and send it out, click on the green button in the top right corner. Right next to it, you'll see an arrow button. If you click it, you can save this email as a template for future use. Or if you just want to send it immediately, click on this button over here. That will then save the email and bring you back to the automation view. If you wanted to add anything else to your automation, then you can just add an action on the left hand side here. So let's say you want to send an SMS with your email, then you just drag it in to the right step. But please note for SMS, SMS marketing, you have to apply and get a number registered and approved. For now, I'm going to go back, remove that action, click delete. But on the left hand side here, you can see a whole bunch of other actions too. If you want more detail on how to use all these separate actions, then just come to the bottom here and click on how to use the automation flow builder. For now, I'm ready for my automation to go live. So I'm going to click on continue in the top right corner. An acknowledgement pop up will come up. Just click on continue. And just like that, your email newsletter campaign has now gone live. You can build a landing page or add a form right inside the platform by going down to forms on the left hand side but many people are using other softwares that has a form builder or they're hosting a website through a different platform and with that platform comes a form so they just connect that form to the campaign all right so you finish your campaign now every time somebody signs up they'll get a welcome message instantly without any manual work needed so that's mailchimp that was a very basic rundown but a simple way to start sending out emails and set up basic automations like welcome messages but if you want to do everything mailchimp does and way more like sending sms with ai managing all your contacts in a built-in crm building a full landing page website and automating your entire sales process, you'll want to check out High Level. It's all in one and for one low monthly price. It can replace a whole bunch of different tools that you're probably already paying for. Check this video for a full breakdown of how it works and what you can do with it. So go check that out. It might seriously simplify your whole setup. Thanks for watching.